Have you ever become frustrated when searching for information? Don't give up. Many times conducting an effective search is just a matter of figuring out the correct set of search terms, called keywords, to use in your search. Keywords increase or decrease the results of your search, should reflect the concepts in your topic, and require time to develop. The first step to developing your set of keywords is to break down your topic into individual concepts. For example, if my topic is the impact of having a job on college student study habits, I could break this into three concepts, job, college students, and study habits. These concepts will be used as my initial set of keywords. Entering these three keywords in a database helped me locate six articles. If I wanted to find more articles, I would have to find a new way to describe my topic. This is a matter of finding synonyms for the keywords. I could rephrase my topic to state the influence of employment on undergraduate academic achievement. The keywords are now employment, undergraduate, and academic achievement. Searching the database with a new set of keywords helped me locate 22 articles instead of 6. As you search for resources, you may need to try using many different synonyms and word combinations to find the resources that you need. You may also need to try multiple databases if you are searching for journal articles. The more keywords you use in a search may lead to more specific results. However, using all of the keywords in your search may produce few or zero results. A general search might be necessary if you cannot find many resources with your specific search. To do this, try only using one or two keywords in your search. General searches usually lead to more results, but they may not be specific to your topic. You may also have to spend more time making connections between the resources if they are general in nature. Following these tips will help you perform better searches. If you need more assistance, you can always ask a librarian.